All right, awesome. Now I want to get into something here. Um, the first thing I want to talk about, you recently wrote about this. Um, you talked about two high yield REITs that could soar, right? And one of them being your Omega Healthcare, right? And broad market, it's a commercial real estate, more commercial mortgage REIT. The healthcare one kind of makes sense, but where are we going with this uh, mortgage one? So tell us about these two high yielding REITs, why are they high yielding and why they could soar? Sure. Well, of course, you know, yields, a lot of people love yield and who doesn't, right? That's the shiny new toy that, uh, you know, we like to, we like to have, and it means income, higher income, higher yield. And so these particular companies, again, one, you're right, one is a healthcare REIT and actually specifically they're in the skilled nursing sector, which has really been challenged significantly. So one of the reasons that this company does have a high yield is because the market has traded off. Again, Mr. Market, as I alluded to earlier in the earlier segment, uh, has not been in favor of skilled nursing. Why is that? Because of the labor shortage. You know, you think about it, a lot of these nursing homes are under tr still tremendous pressure with COVID and now the de Delta variant um, because of uh, vaccines. So, you know, they're having to require vaccines. So there's just a lot, there's a lot of poli politics in, in this as well. So the labor issues have really put pressure on skilled nursing operators. And so that's, again, put pressure on this company, Omega Healthcare, and some peers just like Omega. And so that's what has elevated this yield, which is around 9%. Company actually just produced earnings, generated earnings today, and they actually did fairly well. Uh, so we're gonna be watching this and obviously listening to the earnings call tomorrow. Now, the other company you mentioned is called Broadmark, you're right, and they are a commercial mortgage REIT. And, and you've, you've actually done your homework, I'm very impressed. Not only is you have the coolest show, you actually do your homework and I'm very impressed. But Broadmark is a commercial mortgage REIT they yield around 8%. Now this is, they have a very simple business model. They lend money to home builders and apartment builders. Um, so if you wanna go build a house or two houses, uh, they'll loan money to you to go build a house, you can buy the land, to frame it, put it all together, put the roof on it. Uh, their average customers probably, they probably lend about a million to $2 million per customer. So they'll have maybe four houses up, maybe five houses up going at a time. Um, now, they, they charge around 12% on average, which, again, sounds like a lot of money, but it's virtually 100% financing. So some of these small builders, they'll go out and they'll have a business partner who will help them you know, fund the house, and they'll give that partner some money or you know, some of the profits. So the, it, this is a very successful model. The key to this business model, as, as is with any mortgagery is just underwriting the credit underwriting you know the borrower just like a bank to make sure that you know when the money goes out the money is going to come back in and so broadmark has done a very good job of of sourcing uh their their uh and under really underwriting their uh developers their builders uh they do they do have some trouble loans obviously the pandemic was tough last year there are a number of builders who just frankly weren't able to pay so they're having to work through some of those defaults. Um, and that's, again, what's caused a little pressure to the stock price. But we, one thing we do, and we spend a lot of time is we, we not only underwrite these companies, we speak with these management teams on a regular basis. I have calls just like you do here with me. We have calls almost every single day, if not multiple times a day with management teams, really digging into their businesses. So with Broadmark specifically, we've looked at that company and we believe that the the dividend is, is sustainable and the company is, is doing a really good job at underwriting the risk uh, for that business model. And again, you know the demand of housing today. And um, so that's really what I really like about the business model. And Warren Buffett said it best, if, you know, you've got to understand that business. And if you really understand this business of, of lending money to single family housing, especially in the Sunbelt markets where I'm located, you know, Florida and Texas, or some dominant markets for them where they deploy capital. Uh, it's been a great market. And so uh, we like those companies. And again, but we've done our homework, just like you've done your homework here for this show, uh, to make sure that these are safe companies. Even though they're higher yield, uh, we believe they are safe. 